what is going on here it's beeping it's flashing something is happening ah that's the servo the phoenix inverter has turned off because the qso battery is empty i've used all the power tonight guys welcome back to the offcut garage here it is a late night show we have a negative 70 amps outside yeah, that's not great let me turn off this beeping here so whatever power comes in during the day from our pull fan system into this battery here, I'm using this at night to heat up the hot water or charge the vehicle or something until the pack has 48 volt pack voltage or, or 2.8 cell voltage. And then the BMS turns off, the inverter turns off, and this is all the energy I'm getting from the pull fan system at the moment. But today we had really cloudy and rainy weather. So there was only 1.5 kilowatt hours in this battery, but it's half what I need to heat up my hot water. So I'll take it. Guys, do you remember when we built the, um, when we built the new Zeblos front plate with the JK BMS? Thank you for 86,000 subscribers. Welcome to the channel, guys. Yeah, remember a few videos back when we built this um, Franken front panel here for the Zeblos battery? And we used all these uh, 3D printed parts here to replace the Zeblos BMS with the JK BMS behind it. And two or three people left a comment under the video and said, it is not worth doing this because you can now buy these front panels here from China directly as a replacement for the original Zeblos do-it-yourself box. And this replaces then the original front plate of the Zeblos do-it-yourself kit with a modified front panel where the JK BMS and the display and all the terminals where all these components can be mounted and the front panel fits into the Zeblos box again. And after, after only seven days, these two boxes arrived here in the off-grid garage. Amazing! The box contains a this is the new JK 3.2 or 3.5 inch display. Connection cable for the display to the BMS. A bag full of screws to mount the panel and also the BMS. And also the front panel. Has all the correct cutouts for the communication board, the power switch, the display and the positive and negative terminals. So it doesn't look too bad, right? On the back it has all the standoffs to mount the BMS. Um, this way. Communication board. Amazing. All the holes are lining up. Nice. Display clicks in in here. Cool. And you can order these front panels with different accessories. Just the front panel, front panel with terminals, front panel with display, with terminals and display and also other accessories like connection bus bars for the positive and negative terminals, cables to connect the JK BMS to your batteries and you can combine this as you like. And I didn't order the terminals from them because we can just use the ones from the Zeblos front panel and put them here in the JK replacement front panel. So this so far looks really really good. If we have a look from the front, all the cutouts for the communication ports, dip switches, LEDs. Nice, everything seems to fit perfectly fine. Display. And it is actually cheaper to order the front panel and the display together from this shop than buying only the front panel and buying the display somewhere else. So you're saving around seven to $10. A JK front panel. And the step loss front panel. There we go. This is a plaque matte finish. This is a plaque glossy finish. The material of the replacement front panel is a lot thinner than the original Zeblos front panel, which I cannot bend at all. 1.3 millimeters is the replacement front panel. Almost two millimeters is the original front panel. That's over 30% thinner. See, overall, the manufacturing of this replacement front panel seems to be a bit cheaper here. You can see all the welding spots where they have welded here these nuts, for example, on the back side of the panel. There you can see the welding spots. While here on the original Zeblos front panel, you can't see anything. So this manufacturer process is far more advanced 
higher quality. It just looks better all around. This doesn't really matter because it's on the back side of the panel, but I just wanted to mention it. The replacement front panel also has some damage already here and it starts rusting. The quality is nothing like with the original Zeppler's front panel. Okay, replacement front panel and Zeppler's front panel on top of each other. Yep, the height is exactly the same. Yeah, we can see the original Zeppler's front panel here on the top is two millimeters shorter than the replacement front panel. Do two millimeters matter? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got the JK replacement front panel here and this is the original Zeppler's box, our Frankenstein battery. And we are going to mount this front panel here. One screw is in. Ah, come on here. Second screw is in. And guys, that is pretty much it. I am not able to put any more screws in here because, because the holes of the front panel are not lining up anymore with the holes of the do-it-yourself box. Let me show you with a torch. See the hole is about two and a half, three millimeters to the right. And here on the side, I um, can just see the hole that is another three millimeters. Also, because this front panel is about two millimeters longer than the original one, it actually sits on top of the side panel, while here it sits inside and is flush with the side panel. So regardless what your partner says, two millimeters matter. And there as well, you can see, well, you can't. Yeah, the holes are not lining up. Neither down here. There's no way to get these uh, screws in. Maybe able to get a third one in, but that's it. This one here, not lining up. Let's close the lid of our coffin. Um, you can see the front panel is actually too high on this side here. It is not flush with the lid. And these one and a half millimeters are actually missing at the front. So the whole front panel sits too far up. So before I bought these two front panels from this shop, I asked them to check the measurement and they confirmed the length of this replacement panel. And I told them this is actually two millimeters longer than the original Zeppler's front panel. And they asked, is this for the Mason 280? And I said, yes, exactly. This is the box I have and I want to replace the original front panel with yours. So I can mount a JK BMS. And they said, yeah, no problem. So, and after receiving these two panels, I had a bit of a discussion with them. You know, AliExpress chat, automated translation from Chinese to English and back. And they were really good. They were, they were friendly and everything and apologized for that. And I said, well, we confirmed that this panel is a replacement for the Mason 280. And I said, yes, it is. I said, no, it's not. So I took all the photos of these two front panels and said, well, the, the holes are not lining up. So this front panel you are selling is not for the Zeppler's Mason 280 do-it-yourself kit. And I've asked them, can you make a front panel which actually fits, which has the correct measurement and the correct hole distance? And they confirmed, yes, we can manufacture these panels ourselves. So I made them a drawing, measured the original Zeppler's front panel, everything they need to make the perfect front panel for these boxes. And they said, we will change this in the next batch. But at the moment we will sell them as they are because we've got lots of stock and they also fit our battery boxes. So I asked, uh, do you make these boxes as well? And I said, yeah, we've got the boxes, we've got the front panels, we've got everything together. And we see these battery boxes, these do-it-yourself boxes coming up on the market everywhere now. Everyone is doing these boxes. Bring your own batteries, build your battery, and you're done. And looking at their battery box, it looks very much the same as the Zeppler's do-it-yourself kit. It has even these metallic side handles. And on the photos, it looks very much the same. But the dimensions are not 100% the same. So these replacement front panels are not a direct replacement for the Zeppler's boxes. So anyway, I told them I cannot use these front panels with the Zeppler's boxes. I need to send them back for a full refund and they agreed to it. So they were really friendly and understood the problem. But then I thought, well, this does not help me out, right? Because, because the JK BMS fits perfectly on this front panel here. Just the holes don't line up. So I thought about what can we do? What is the solution to use this front panel here with the Zeppler's box 
so I don't need to send it back and we have a nice looking front panel if you want to replace the step loss BMSs with the JK BMSs. Well I cannot really re-drill these holes here because they are so close together there would be an oval shaped hole inside this case frame and the screws will not hold them you will not be able to tighten them anymore. It leaves us with only uh, two options. We can re-drill these holes here somewhere else put them here in between somewhere just completely new holes into the front panel and into the frame of the battery case and then we put M4 threads in it yeah, and I can close these existing holes with my black gap filler. <laughs> or we can have a 3mm aluminium spacer all around between the actual battery frame and the front panel and use the existing holes and put a new thread in this 3mm aluminium. So the whole front panel actually comes a little bit forward and of course we will see this aluminium here. We can potentially paint it black at some stage. Or maybe it's a good looking feature with a silver frame all around it. So I guess these are the only two options I came up with so far looking at this whole situation here. If you have any other ideas let me know down in the comments. Uh, here as well the paint is gone. Quality is really not great. You can feel the paint. Yeah, the paint is already stripping here. And there's a bit of rust. Of rusty. Look at this. It's already rusting there. Ah. So I really don't like these front panels here, but what can we do? So guys, this is how far I am at the moment. Should we go ahead and use these front panels here? Should I send them back for the full refund and we build our own? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here for all these beautiful people out there who are donating to the channel, buying me a beer, a coffee, a smoothie, whatever, becoming a channel member to get all the secrets firsthand. And also leaving a kind comment and a like. This all helps and makes these videos possible. So guys, until the next video when we finally unpack these two boxes here and I'll show all the non-members of the channel what is in these boxes. <laughs> Until then guys, you stay charged, stay safe and thanks so much for watching. See you then. Bye bye. So at the moment my thought is I keep these front panels here and make it somehow work. Either with a spacer in between or with drilling completely new holes and cover these ones up. Interestingly I have seen the screws they provide. Uh, look at these screws here. They are button head screws and these are countersunk holes. So they don't even fit correctly in here. <laughs> wrong screws or wrong holes. Either way, there really should be these ones here which are from the Zeploss box.